Ow! My head hurts. It's too much thinking. Too, too much scientifical stuff going on here. Actually, it was pretty easy. Just went on to YouTube and typed in electrolysis and sorted through all the gibberish until I found the one that says electrolysis rust removal and watched a few videos and we got her. It is really easy to do this, I think. I haven't done it yet. But you need washing soda, not baking soda. Washing soda is sodium carbonate. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. You need the, the sodium carbonate to do this. And I don't do things in a small way, especially when you got this monstrosity behind me to try to get the rust off of. So I'll show you what I got and what's going on. I got a, a barrel out there and I am estimating there's about 40 gallons of water in it. And you need one tablespoon of this per gallon. There's 64 tablespoons in a quart, so I figured I needed about two thirds of a quart of baking soda or baking washing soda. That's a little bit more than that, but a little, I don't know if it matters. The guy that I got the instructions from said, Oh, you need about a tablespoon, so we'll go with this. I'm going to dump it in my water and swish it around. I'll show you my bucket. I, I guess got a big white bucket. I made a, the hardest part of the project was making a circle. I have a piece of half inch round I bent into a circle and welded the end. And then I welded four pieces of rebar to it as the sacrificial uh, steel that the rust is going to go to, I guess. And then I welded a little stub on top to clamp my uh, positive lead from my battery charger to it. Then you hang the part in the water that you want the rust off of, and you put the negative lead on that. And I guess the rust goes to the positive. You want to be careful and do it outside or do it in a well ventilated area because it'll start bubbling. And those bubbles are pure oxygen and pure hydrogen. And we don't want that in here with a furnace and a wood burner. So let's go outside and I'll show you what I've got and I'll get it put in the, the uh, barrel and get it hooked up and we'll just see what happens. Okay, here we go. I've dumped the washing soda in here. I've stirred it up a few times. Right here's the frame I made for the sacrificial rust, whatever you want to call it. And I got a stub here to hook my uh, positive lead from my uh, battery charger set here. Okay. Now I hope I can get this big vise down in there. I think it's going to be a two-step operation. Ugh. Try to get it centered up a little bit, I guess. hook the negative here, positive here. I have my battery charger set for 12 volts, 2 amps. I'm going to plug it in.
it's running. As soon as I see some action in there, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'd let it go for about five minutes and I didn't see anything happening. So I came out and unplugged it, took my negative off of here and just put it, filed both sides where that's making contact and snapped it back on, plugged it in and it started bubbling right away. You can see all those bubbles coming up in there. So hopefully we got some uh, rust removal action going on. It said it could be anywhere, take anywhere from a uh, couple hours to overnight. Well, we'll see it tomorrow morning. It's about 20 after 4 now. I'm going to let it run all night. See what it looks like. We'll see. Looks like something's happening. It's been going for about 45 minutes.